Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at Bastion Hosts. Bastion Hosts are a special purpose instance that provides secure access to Linux instances located in private subnets. Bastion Hosts are hardened instances that only have a minimal number of administrative applications, such as SSH or RDP. All other unnecessary services are removed. Hosts are typically placed in a segregated network. You can access the Bastion host via SSH connections from a remote network, then use it a jump server to access other instances in private subnets. Bastion hosts protect instances in private subnets and minimize the exposure to potential attack. You can deploy Bastion hosts in two availability zones to provide high availability. For example, with highly available architecture, in the event of one AZ failure, you don't lose access of the instances in private subnets. So how do Bastion hosts work? Suppose you have EC2 instances in a private subnet. These instances are not accessible from the internet. We have security group and network ACL restrict the inbound connection from the internet as additional layers of protection. The security group associated with EC2 instances in the private subnet only allow secure connection from the bastion host using SSH. In the public subnet, we have launched a bastion host. This bastion host is a specially hardened EC2 instance. The bastion host is rootable from the internet. However, we can use security group to allow connections from trusted IP addresses over the internet using SSH. You can remotely access the bastion host using SSH. From the bastion host you can then SSH to the EC2 instance in the private subnet. As a security best practice, AWS recommends using SSH agent forwarding on a client, allows to connect from the bastion to other instances without storing the private key on the bastion. NAT gateway or NAT instances enable EC2 instances in a private subnet to connect to the internet, but prevent the internet from initiating a connection with those instances. In other words, you can not connect a NAT gateway or NAT instance remotely using SSH and use it as a jump server to connect to other instances in the private subnet. NAT is suited for internal facing application servers and database instances in private subnets where they need to securely connect to the internet for OS updates and patches. Bastion hosts on the other hand, allow trusted clients to connect the Bastion instance as a jump server and connect to other EC2 instances. Bastion hosts can be used when you need to securely access private instances to perform administrative tasks. A NAT instance can also be used as a Bastion host. You need to update your NAT instances security group rules to allow inbound and outbound ICMP traffic and allow outbound SSH traffic and configure SSH agent forwarding to access instances in your private subnet. It's recommended to use NAT gateway to perform NAT, use different Bastion instances as jump servers. You can use both NAT gateway and Bastion together in the same VPC to secure the network. Use Bastion to provide secure inbound connections. Use NAT gateway to provide secure outbound connections. AWS has created some alternative solutions to Bastion hosts. Session Manager is a fully managed AWS Systems Manager capability that lets you securely connect to private EC2 instances using a browser-based shell without the need to open inbound ports, maintain Bastion hosts, or manage SSH keys. EC2 Instance Connect provides a simple and secure way to connect to your instances using SSH, which in turn can simplify the overall process of using Bastion hosts. With EC2 Instance Connect, you use AWS IAM policies and principles to control SSH access to your instances, removing the need to share and manage SSH keys. In this episode, we've learned Bastion hosts. Bastion hosts are special purpose instances that provide secure access to Linux instances in the private subnet. Bastion hosts allow trusted clients to connect the Bastion instance as a jump server and connect to other EC2 instances in the private subnet. Okay, that's all for Bastion hosts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudomy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudomy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.